Breast cancer survivor and advocate, the author of the inspirational book, Walk Beside Me, Christine Handy, is joining us on the Kogo News Live Line. And Christine, in what way did Dartmouth say that mammograms are harmful? Well, it's a very controversial um, article, but it, they're basically saying that there are a lot of false positives and a lot of false negatives. The, the reality is mammograms are truly our best defense at early, for, early detection. Um, mammograms are about 84% accurate in detecting breast cancer. Yes, there are false positives which occur when radiologists decide the mammogram has abnorm looked abnormal. And when that happens, there's obviously great distress in the, in the woman that this happens to. There's additional testing. There's additional costs involved. Um, there's also false negative results, which occur when mammogram appears normal, but there is actually breast cancer present. So basically what it's talking about is saying that it's, you know, mammograms are controversial because they don't detect all cancers, and, and that's correct. But until we have other ways to detect breast cancer earlier and more accurately, mammograms really are our best protection for early detection. What about sonograms, though? Well, sonograms are fantastic, but sonogram, a lot of insurance companies won't pay for sonograms. And if you are one of the 50% of women out there that have dense breasts, it's even more difficult for a mammogram to interpret whether you have breast cancer or not. And if you, if you have dense breasts, you should insist on possibly getting a, mammo, uh, a sonogram, excuse me, um, or additional testing. But again, a lot of insurance companies don't want to pay for it, and those are very expensive tests. I'm just wondering why insurance companies won't pay for something like this, because in the long run, it's going to be cheaper for them to do this than to pay for the treatment. Well, logic doesn't apply here. <laughs> I agree, and it's very frustrating as an advocate for early detection. You know, I, I think that insurance companies, they're also trying to get, and it has been for many years, women to start doing mammograms later at the age of 50. But the reality is, is that women who are younger are getting breast cancer just like it used to be women who are older. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 42. Um, if I had not, you know, gotten my mammogram at a young age, I probably wouldn't be speaking to you right now. So, I listen, mammograms are not 100% accurate. But that's the best we got. And we also, and I also really want to encourage women to keep getting mammograms yearly, but I also want to encourage women to do self exams and to get the yearly physical exam. The three of those two, the three of those combined is our best protection. Mammograms cost versus sonograms cost. I mean, pregnant women get sonograms all, all the time. What is the difference the cost in cost? Is. You know, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what a sonogram costs, but I do know that. If there are right now, especially during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, there are a lot of mammogram places that are doing mammograms for $100. So that seems kind of inexpensive to me. So I don't know what a sonogram costs. And, and again, I think that insurance companies, you, you know, we're constantly fighting with insurance companies about these issues. But I agree it's safer and better to do a sonogram or an ultrasound now because the chemotherapy, listen, every chemotherapy I had was eighteen thousand dollars a round. So it, it's in the it's in the insurance company's best interest to find it, you know, early detection. That is so true, Christine. Thank you very much.